Hello and welcome to tutorial number 16. This is the follow-up tutorial on the CB Blogs uh, plugin that we discussed in the previous tutorial. Uh, CB Blogs is a component plugin for Community Builder and we initially configured CB Blogs here to internal mode, intro and full, and basically we kept the categories here as they were. And if you remember, we created two or three, three blogs basically. Uh, admin has two blogs and Susan has a third one. Now we'll be showing you today how to configure CB blogs to use the Joomla storage instead. This has some advantages, uh, meaning that we can actually use the Joomla blog layout and category layouts to display our user blogs through Joomla. Uh, so this has some advantages compared to the internal storage where users basically have to visit other user profiles in order to be able to get to the blogs of those users. So let's go here and just switch from internal to Joomla. And instead of intro and full, let's just put full only. And the categories here, we see we created a new category called Joom, uh, user blogs, which has a number of subcategories, Joomla, Community Builder, Group Jive, and so on. So let's keep this here. Go to the defaults and let's choose that the Joomla category, subcategory is the default. Uh, blog category for user blogs. And let's save this. Actually, it's sitting close. Now, if we go back and click on the blogs uh, component button here, we'll see that there's nothing to display because the Joomla category uh, that stores the blogs is empty. So uh, let's now go to the front end and we'll Go to the admin page here, blogs. Let's create a new blog here. And we see that the default category is set to Joomla. I can go ahead and change to one of the other subcategories. Just keep it Joomla. Let's publish it right away. It's called, this is my first Joomla blog. And let's just put here, Joomla storage has some advantages that we need that we can take, we can use. And let's just click here, do a read more break and do this is the after read more text. Okay, and let's just save that. Let's say create block. Great. If we go to the back end now and refresh this page, we should see our block. Now, I've created a, a Joomla menu here. Just go through, it's called Joomla User Blogs. And it's basically a category blog link for the Joomla category. And I've also configured a blog layout, no leading articles, six intros, two columns, and so on. So if I go to the front end and click on this Joomla User Blogs, I will see the first blog I created. Now I actually have more blogs here stored in the back end. Let me just go and look at them. These are the ones here that are red. Let me just click on these and do a, a batch tools. And let's just do, 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 do. move them from the staging category to the Joomla category, process, 
There we go. And uh, let's just publish them also. Okay, so now if I go to the front end and actually go to this menu item again, I'll see all the blocks. And I see that the latest one, the newest one, is added here. So this is a nice way of creating a, a blocks menu item from Joomla and allowing people to actually create content through Community Builder instead of using the Joomla content creation process. It has some nice advantages. It's, it's a lot easier for a user to just go to his profile and click on the new blog here button. And it's easier for the user to manage because they see all their blogs here. They can edit, unpublish, or delete by themselves. Okay. I think this is uh, enough for CB blogs. You can experiment a little more with the settings. Uh, turn on uh, moderation, for example, and have people uh, need to approve a new blog before it become, goes live to the site. But there's some interesting tools here that you can take advantage, and you also see how nicely it integrates with Joomla. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.